Galera, foi um prazer estar aqui com o Carl Alvarez, da, da banda Dispensa Comentários, do Descendants e do Edwall. Uh, estamos aqui, vamos falar um pouquinho bem rápido, porque a gente está para ir ver o show do Flag daqui a pouquinho. Um, Carl, thanks, thanks for stopping by and, uh, and you know, just uh, sharing, uh, sharing the passion of, of the Descendants and all with all of us. Uh, if you could just kind of just to say how, how it is to play a punk rock uh, holiday is it is that the first time you guys uh, played I here? think I've played here before with other bands this is the first time descendants have done it here. all right but yeah I like this whole festival thing it with every year turns more into a family reunion because we all know every band knows each other from all the years of playing together right. and in some cases it, Bill has produced the bands, yeah. or you know, or they're just friends we've toured with. So it's this is all good, like this kind of festival, particularly yeah. the beautiful mountains and everything. It's great. This is beautiful. Isn't it's, it? awesome. it's our first time here, by the way. Uh, you know, not, this is not about me, about us, uh -huh. but uh, first time punk rock holiday. Uh, we used to go to, uh, we still go to Road Rock uh, quite often, but this is mind blowing. I mean, yeah, the, right. the, the, this is the beauty of this place. I just want to say, uh, actually, before I forget, thank you for doing that. Brixton Academy free show. Oh yeah. Um, well, because so many people. That was. It, it, it really hurt my heart when I was at Shepherd's Bush. No, and I remember. And, and there were because people flew yeah. in from Brazil. People flew no, in from Japan. From Japan, that was crazy. And, and right? you know, it's it, we don't like disappointing people. That's yeah. not what this is about. Yeah. You know, we had to get no, some revenge. No, and I think you know? <laughs> it was no seriously, and it was beautiful because you guys tried to get people to cover. The, the guys in other bands, the guys that were touring around the time, the yeah. guys from NoFX, so, yeah. and to sing that, and when I saw people like booing, I was like, it, it's a hard thing, isn't it? Because they, they, it's, it's the expectation as a fan, as a yeah, no, it's it's bad, and I I remember seeing going to see bands and. Uh, being disappointed because something didn't work, something didn't you work. Know? and I know that yeah. feeling, man, and, yeah. you know, it's, and uh, I think you got to keep it in your brain, and I can't escape it, yeah. that I'm always thinking of what that guy in the audience had to do to earn the money to get into the gig. Yeah. Chances are good he wore a plastic name tag, chances are good he said some shit he didn't want to have to say, you know, he did some shit he didn't want to say to do. So yeah, I tried to keep that in mind. So when we did that free yeah. show, it's with that in mind. Like, no, we're not gonna try to do anyone out of anything. Yeah. We're, we got to get this right. We fucked up. No, we had to get no. it right. But you know? it's one of those things. It does happen, isn't it? Yeah, Who, no. As a singer, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm a, you know, I don't like to call myself uh, a singer, but yeah, I used to play in the bands, and my voice would go, it would blow. We were, and we were at Rebellion Fest a few days ago, and the Dickies had that problem. Really? Leonard's voice was gone. So. Ah, wow. So yeah, it's everyone all, you know. All the guys in the bands. Okay, who knows the Dicky songs? Who's not playing when they're playing? You know? really? Who can we do get to do this? Wow, you know? it's funny. How was Rebellion, by the way? It was good. It was uh, you know one day of Flag and one day of us. We were there for quite a while. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's 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 good stuff. Um, when it when it comes to the new album, I noticed one thing. Um, can, can, is it okay to say that Milo is singing kind of like higher notes? On the, on, the, on, the, on the later album? Yeah, he's actually, it's more about, uh, I think he's more comfortable being a singer. I think, honestly, he, you know, he lets himself hit those notes now and he never did before. And with the recent, I've seen the, the recent interview on the coffee yeah. shop, that was quite a wicked. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was it with Noise Magazine? Yeah, something I think like that. That was really wicked. Um, and um, I could tell that uh, there's a whole new scenario compared to, let's say, let's go back to four years ago when it was the reunion, three years, something like that, yeah. with the reunion, and now with the situation with uh, Milo's job, and it's like a full-time thing, it's, it's and a it's full like full thing. It's commitment, and yeah, no, it's That's good. Wicked, isn't and, it? you know, and I've been mentioning in all these interviews that, you know, with all the health setbacks we, some of us have had, and we're getting older, there's a definite thing. We have to do this now, because yeah. it might not, we might not be able to do it. Yeah. We actually have to do this stuff now, or, we're, you know. What, one real. of the things I want to ask you as well, um, what's up? What, what, <laughs> so, <laughs> one, one, <laughs> one of the things that I want to ask you that was quite touchy on the uh, on the documentary was about your health. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. I'm you not good. on any medical or anything, any meds of any kind. Uh, 
basically I had a heart attack due to I wasn't treating myself very well. Right. And uh, you know, after years of uh, of abusing myself, something happened, and that's w the way it works. But I've got myself together now, and you know, like I said, I'm not on any meds. They took me off, and I never had to have any surgery. I'm good. You know, that's good. Just your average small heart attack. You know? And it's and it's funny how you guys put it in a way, as in with with Bill the issue, like how you guys were saying. He was the, one of the, the last people in the band to actually expect that to happen. Oh yeah, no, right? that, that's the weird thing. Is like, I mean, me, I'm all. I've always kind of been uh, a little bit reckless and idiotic. With Bill, I mean, no, I never expected anything to happen with that guy. He's very mm -hmm. clean living, very you know, yeah. very straight. You know. Um, do you have an? Uh, this is a bit of a geeky uh, kind of question. Are you aware of? The amount you present as Carl Alvarez, the bass player, the amount of influence you have in so many bass players around the world, like you, you're considered one of the best. Like man, it, it's hard. You go. I'm generous. still trying to play the parts right, man. Like <laughs> I, I, it's nice. You know, I, I appreciate it. It's great to be to have it and the influence there. But what occurs to me all the time is, if you're into my bass playing, that means by definition, you're into Chuck Dukowski's bass playing. And Mike Watts bass play, and all these other guys. You know, that's the cool thing. It's like I'm just one guy in this continuum of cool bass players. So you were influenced by these guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I could go down the list. There's uh, Charles Mingus was an influence when I was young. Uh, in metal world, Steve Harris from Iron Maiden was a big influence. Geezer wow. Butler. You know, I mean, this is. But everyone listens to what they like, and these are the guys I like. You know, that's weird. I got lucky with Mike Watt and with Dukowski that I could go to the show and actually ask them questions about what they were doing, as opposed to like if I had been going to see Iron Maiden or whatever, I'd never yeah. been five miles of that guy. Yeah, exactly. It was very cool. Chuck's always been very upfront about like, nope, this is how you do this thing. Cool. Yeah. Um, do you have any involvement with uh, the Blast Room or are you just based in Fort I'm, Collins? I'm based there. Um, I'm based there because it's easy for me and build a practice. That's where right. I'm based there. Gotcha. In the beginning, when they actually built the studio, uh, when Stefan was also I was a partner. In it. It, it, it yeah, was, I was a partner, it, but I got broke somewhere in there, and I sold out my shares. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Um, I think they do man, some good work there still, though. Oh my God, man! If I if I had if I w if I could afford, I mean, uh, back in the day in '99, my band when we were in Boston, we used to live in Boston. Uh, I got to see you guys at the Middle East in, yeah, in Boston that. with. Uh, um, Bouncing Souls, I think, was on that. That, that was no, it was uh, Leg Wagon. You you guys headlining Leg Wagon. Uh, oh my God. Uh, Armchair March. Armchair March. Armchair March. That's right. They were. Amazing. How are how are they? Uh, man, they the singer blow my mind. I know John uh, does solo acoustic stuff. John Snodgrass does solo acoustic yeah. stuff. Uh, I don't think Armchair Martian's done anything in years. I know Paul Rucker, the drummer, was playing in the Street Dogs for a long time. Right. And I don't, I don't know what they're doing. I, I've lost track of where Paul's at now. I don't know where right. he's at. Sure. But yeah, that was one of my favorite bands. No, we can. Um, as you know, this is going to Brazil. Um, I know you guys played with O already. Yes. And there's a plan to uh, of a tour in Brazil. It's already scheduled, yes. all set up. Yes, and we're going to go down to Brazil. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Because I, I have been to Brazil with all, oh, yes. and I've also been with All Systems Go, which was half of the Doughboys and half of Big Girl Car, and we were opening for Evan Dando, which is why Bill and I ended up doing Lemonheads record. Exactly. It was like that, during because we had toured South America, I toured with Evan, and wow. then he came through uh, Fort Collins, and I introduced him to Bill, and that's just kind of where the thing went. Wow, but yeah, I, I but I, I I love touring Brazil. I Do you have it. any? I mean, it's, it's a it's a hard one. You know, when you come across someone, oh, I'm from blah 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 that country. Yeah. Uh, how was that show to you? Do you have any recollection? Do you have any recollection from that all tour? Oh, the, the, you, the you playing Curitiba, Sao Paulo. The shows were insane. I like I liked it. it you were good. small venues. Small like venues, that. and the and the kids were really energetic and really over the top. And it was a lot you of guys, fun. You guys, I gotta tell you, you guys are up for something. You guys, know, it's gonna, it's gonna, gonna be, be mental, fun. man. It's gonna I be. Always, I always wicked. think that you know, at some point, uh, I'd like to retire to. If I'm ever gonna retire, I'd love to go retire to Brazil. I love it down there. Um, can I also just to finalize this? Uh, I'm gonna be one of the very few ones in the world to say my favorite record of your 
for the entire I mean, the, the last album is, you know, hands up, you know, hands on is incredible. But Mass Murder for me is like, it's mind blowing. I mean, I think it, it took um, Everything Sucks to a higher level. I don't know if that can be possible to be said. I think we were playing really good at that moment. I think because we've been doing so much tour and so much. I think that's why that record's cool. It's like we were so, so good. At that and by moment. the way, let me correct myself. I said it was Armchair Martin on that, on that yeah. tour. It was Wretch Like Me. Wretch Like Me. Oh okay, my I God. Can tell you. The that singer, tour was the singer Ape Brennan yes. has a band called Joy Subtraction. Yes, and that's that's where that guy ended up. The so bass player uh, uh, wrecked like me. Doesn't so, exist. So, doesn't oh exist. really? The bass player joined Zeke. You know the band Zeke. Really? He was in their band. Now he's in a band called High on Fire. Oh wow! High Jason Fire. Livermore, the drummer, works at the studio and doesn't drum yet. Really. He does mixing work. Yeah, exactly. What's he on that? Do you re remember if Jason was on that tour? Yes, he was. All in, uh, I believe he was on that tour. Really? He was. Yeah. 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 Well, that's kind of how he started working at the studio. He was just drumming with with uh, you know, Trevor Nate's band, and then after a while, he started doing all the knobs. <laughs>